everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we are trying all new, to me, makeup. Um, some of these things are actually new to the market, and some of these things are new to me, and specifically, we're gonna focus on the La Prairie foundations. So I have the La Prairie cushion foundation, and I have the La Prairie, um, let's see if I get the name right, Skin Caviar Concealer Foundation. <laughs> So these are very expensive foundations, and I held off for a long time before purchasing them. Years, in fact. Um, I had tried La Prairie foundation many years back, and I had a weird reaction to it. And I had a reaction to La Prairie skin, um, skin care, I guess, in general. So I was very hesitant to try it again because it is so expensive. But here we are. We're going to try it out. So... I have the Skin Carrier Essence in Foundation in NC10, and like I said, the Skin Carrier Concealer and Foundation, again, in NC10. So we're gonna try the different um, formulas and see what we think. And then we're gonna do the Say Do Blush Cheek Flush in Rosy, the Milk uh, Makeup Bronzer in Shape Shift. We've got the Calorie, um, Eyeliner, this is in the deep, which is like a navy shade. I do have this in brown. I absolutely love the, the Calorie brand. I think they've done a phenomenal job. Their mascara is my favorite mascara right now, and their liner is really good. And then we're gonna use on the eye the Nomad Cosmetics Whistler Snow Lodge. This is the packaging. Uh, I'll show you the, the eyeshadow uh, palette in a second, and La Bouche Rouge on the lips. So if you're interested in seeing all that, just stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the foundation because this is gonna kind of be the, the star of the show today. Um, so La Prairie, if you're not familiar, is a uh, makeup and skincare brand. It is a very expensive brand. Um, I don't even remember how much I paid for this foundation, but it's it's a lot. I mean, it's, it's way up there. Uh, but, but I have heard some people swear by this foundation, say it's the best foundation they've ever used. So many years ago, I did try it. Um, and I tried specifically, like La Prairie has different, it's like, it's like La Mer or Chantecaille or Sisley. There are different lines in their skincare. And I tried, I don't remember exactly what line I tried, but when I tried it for the skincare um, and the foundation, which was like this one, I had a reaction. My skin turned red and I don't really know what it was, but you know, I basically was like, okay, not gonna use that. And then last year I picked up not actually, well, yes, it was last year, but it wasn't that long ago. Um, maybe it was this year. I can't even remember. But anyway, I picked up the, no, it was last year, the Skin Caviar Essence in Foundation. This is the cushion, and this is an NC10, and I actually liked it. I have liked, I like this foundation. I've been using it. Um, I think it's good. I haven't had any problems with it. My skin hasn't gotten red, so I was just like, okay, well, maybe it was just something in that particular batch or whatever. So I decided to pick up this foundation. Now this foundation, I think is, I think it has fuller coverage than the cushion, we're about to find out. Um, but it has two components. It has the top component, which is the concealer, like that. And then you open it up and it has the foundation, with a little paddle. So we're gonna try the concealer first. I'm gonna use that under the eyes. And then we're gonna do one half with this and one half with the cushion and we'll see how it works. I'm here to, to spend to spend my money unwisely so you don't have to. Um, and then we'll take a look at the Say Blush. We'll take a look at the Milk Makeup Bronzer, which I all picked up um, during the Sephora sale and still haven't got to use. Calorie Mascara, Nomad Cosmetics Eyeshadow Palette, and La Bouche Rouge on the lips. So let's pull out the uh, concealer first. So the concealer, has a concealer-like texture. It's very silky, and we'll put it, I don't use a ton of concealer, to be honest with you. Um, I have uh, all kinds of skin issues, but I don't tend to use a lot of concealer because the under eyes, my under eyes are very dry, and I feel like the more concealer I use, the worse they look. Um, that's, you know, again, that's just me. I'm putting a little around my nose because that's where I have the most rosacea and it's, it's red. Um, we'll see how this one works and we'll see if it, you know, dries and makes my skin look worse. I have to say at the moment, it blended in really nicely. And like, 
Looks very nice. Very creamy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> maybe this was the foundation I've been looking for all these years. Uh, all right, so. Let's use the cushion on this side first. Um, and the cushion, it's 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 dirty because cushions get that way, like because you know you're pumping them and they get gross. Um, and so I do like the the effect that this this um, foundation has, but I admit I don't really like the cushion in here. I feel like it gets dirtier than some of the other cushions that I've used. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like it. I don't know. I don't I don't like the the mechanism as much as I like some other cushions that I've used, like the Chantecaille or the Dior, Tom Ford. Um, but anyway, but I think the, the foundation itself looks very, very nice. I also think it has a scent. Um, I'd say it's, it is perfumey. Um, I don't know what it is, but I don't know what that is. Lily? I don't know. It smells like a flower to me. I can't, can't tell you, but it does smell like there's a scent there. It doesn't bother me, but again, I know a lot of people do not like scent in their foundation. So, but I think you can see it just like pretty quickly. I mean, I just, I'm just, I need to rub it in, uh, pat it in a little bit better, but I think you can see like how well and how smooth that looks compared to the other side of my face. Um, it's a very nice looking foundation. It really is. Um, let me just remove a little bit there. I, it really is a really nice foundation. It just, it gives a beautiful look. It evens out the skin just so nicely. Um, it makes my skin look uh, shiny and dewy. And I mean, you can see the difference, right? Just let's this side, my natural skin. <laughs> I mean, my natural skin is my natural skin. I'm not embarrassed by it or anything, but this side looks better. It looks smoother, it looks more uniform, it looks dewy, um, it looks really nice on, it, it just it smooths out. It lasts a really long time. I really like it. Um, you can still smell the, I, I don't know what that is. Maybe I can look up on the La Paris site and see what it says it is. Um, but it's definitely, I, I think, floral. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on, those little spatula, There's a, it, it's thicker, it's much thicker. Uh, wow, that's like way too much foundation. Okay, I'm gonna take some off, but I will tell you, a little goes a long way. It's very thick, like creamy thick. Not bad, like, it doesn't feel bad. It feels, it almost feels like a La Mer moisturizer. Like it's thick um, and comforting, but it's probably too much for the side of my face. So I'm gonna use a sponge because if I use a sponge, it'll take up some of that. Plus it'll look more like the cushion um, because it has a cushion-like effect with a sponge. Same scent. I don't know what that is. It smells kind of floral to me. The NC10 is the right shade. I, I did go back and forth on shades for forever, guys. Forever. I was just like, I don't know what shade I am. Uh, and it was so hard for me to choose. But I think the NC10 is, is perfect. Okay. Uh, huh, okay. Interestingly enough, I think, I think this side is actually a little dewier. I'm gonna kind of go in with my fingers because I don't, you know, I wanna try to get it because I know the sponge can take up a lot. Very moisturizing. It feels like, it feels like moisturizer. Like seriously, like comfortable moisturizer. I think this side looks dewier. What do you think? We'll have to leave it on for a while and, and like, you know, see how it wears, but I think this side looks dewier at the moment. The shades look the same, which is nice. This is the same shade, uh, whether it's the cushion or the concealer and foundation, it's the same shade. NC, NC10 is NC10, which I do like. And it does look like a really good match. Um, this one, the Skin Caviar Concealer and Foundation, it has a sunscreen of 15, by the way, SPF of 15. I think it actually looks dewier than this one. This one actually looks like it has more coverage. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. 
They both look really nice. Ah, okay. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out later if my skin turns red, and I'll let you all know. Uh, okay, so this is the Say Dew Blush, the Say Slip Tint Tinted Foundation Tinted Moisturizer. I love. Uh, it's a great, very dewy, very light uh, tinted moisturizer. And so I wanted to try the Liquid Cheek Blush. This is in Rosy. I'm um, just looking to see if there's anything on here that I should mention. It says 12 month shelf life once you open it. Clean beauty. Mm, okay, let's try it out. Um, you know I have the liquid blushes, blushes from uh, Rare Beauty, which I love, and uh, the liquid ones from uh, Laura Mercier, which are like my favorite. I love the cheek balms from Merit and um, Chanel, and I think like liquid creamy cheeks are kind of my thing right now. I don't know why, but I just like them. Uh, I've always liked them, but I've liked them more <laughs> the older I get. Uh, okay, so this is rosy. Let's try it over here first. Has this really thick doe foot applicator, which I think looks nice. Um, it's it's liquidy. <laughs> I mean, it is a it is a liquid cream kind of blush. Let's see how it blends. Blends really easily. It feels um, very. Um, Wet, wet almost like not wet but like you know it still feels like it's um liquidy it doesn't feel like it's drying down right away the laura mercier ones dry down like immediately like you put them on your skin it's like dry um which i like because i like the fact that i don't have to worry about them but they're harder to blend because they don't stay um they don't stay moist very long. Uh, they dry down quickly. So if you put them in the wrong place or you don't blend them out, you know, they're done and they're on your face. So I will say that, but um, that's a great shade. I'll put it on the back of my hand so you can see it, but that's a great shade on me. It's really pretty. It's a nice rosy hue. Um, I still haven't figured out what I'm bringing with me on my trip. This might go up while I'm on my trip for all I know, and uh, I still don't know what I'm bringing. I'm pre-recording a lot before I go, as much as I can. That's the shade, rosy. It's like a rosy pinky peach. I think that would be good for a lot of people because I think it would, you know, it's not, it's kind of a neutral. Not too pink, not too peach. It's still sticky, still wet. It's not like, it's not super wet, but it's still a little tacky. So we'll see how it, it dries down on the face. Like I said, the Laura Mercier ones dry down like immediately. Uh, the Rare Beauty, it's not immediate. I think it's a good, a reasonable amount of time. Felt, I felt comfortable with it. Um, the Giorgio Armani's Melting Blushes, I love those, but I have, I only have one shade because they're always sold out. Uh, well, I know why, but I mean, I don't know why they don't have more of them. Okay, so let's try the bronzer. So this is the Liquid Bronzer by Milk Makeup. Um, Bionic Bronzer. Bronzer with skincare superpowers. Hydrating liquid bronzer for a natural looking sun kissed effect. 90% natural infused with mushroom extracts. Huh. Hyaluronic acid and vegan plant derived collagen. All good things. Uh, it is 0.6 fluid ounces, 17 milliliters. It is vegan. It has a leaping bunny. Uh, and 12 months once you open it. It says for best results, shake well before use. This is not the lightest shade. I think this was like the medium shade or something like that. Because when I looked at the lightest shade, it looked, it looked a little yellow, a little, I don't know, not yellow. What's what I'm looking for? It just a little too warm. So I went with this shade because it looked a little bit cooler and I actually like that in a bronzer. Um, definitely like it in a contour, but, but I like it in a bronzer. So that's how it goes on. Pretty thick. Obviously looks really deep, but I've seen it sheer out, so I'm not totally panicked about that. Um, we'll see how well it mixes with the blush, right? Because we're gonna see if the blush is uh, dried down at all. Now, like I said, I've seen this kind of, um, what's what I'm looking for, blend out. So I'm gonna take a brush, what am I looking for? Here we go. 
and see if it, yeah, yeah, it, it easily, it's not nearly as deep as it looks, okay. I, mean, I think you could make it look deeper, but I think it's a natural looking bronze. Okay, let's, let's put it a little higher than I would put a contour. And I think you can use your fingers as well. I'm gonna use a brush, because I think it'll mess up the, the blush a little less. Oh, that's really nice. Wow, how pretty, okay. And honestly, I would not have picked this up if it wasn't for um, Aileen at A Merch Beauty. She uh, she had it and she loved it. And I was like, okay, if Aileen, if Aileen likes it and loves it actually, I'm probably gonna at least like it, so I have to try it. You know, getting the ears, just kinda, if you have your ears exposed because your hair is pulled back a little bit and you're pale like I am and you're putting on bronzer, it's always nice to just kinda, you know, blend it in. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of this along and we'll blend it in, of course, but great shade. That looks really nice. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Cause it gives this really nice sheen to the skin. Really healthy looking glow. Really pretty. Now I think that a lot of the blush is gone though because I think the say stays wet for longer. So let's put a little bit more of the say on and we'll let it dry down while we do the uh, look. Because I think it's not like the, I think it's more like the Merit and the Chanel. You need to give it more time. The Laura Mercier, like I said, you don't. The Laura Mercier, once you put it on, it's, it's, it's dry. <laughs> it's like you put it on your face, you pat it into your skin and it's dry, like it's done. Uh, the Rare Beauty, you have a little more time, um, but it, it does dry quickly, which I like. This one, I think, I think it needs more time. Okay, we'll let it, we'll let it sit and we'll do the eye look. Um, we'll do the eye look while we let it hopefully sink into the skin. But I gotta say, I really like the um, Milk Bronzer. I think it's just a beautiful glow. Oh, that might be coming on my trip. Okay, that's nice. And it didn't mess up the foundation, and I think both sides of the foundation look nice with it, although I do think this side still looks dewier than this side. But All right, let me bring you in a little bit, and we'll talk about the, um, the eye palette that I'm gonna use today. So this is Nomad Cosmetics. This is a independent brand, and uh, it's cruelty-free, it's vegan. Um, Let's see, no parabens, phthalates, or mineral oil. Uh, the, the name of this one is, is the Whistler Snow Lodge. And on the back it says, Destination Whistler, uh, British Columbia, Whistler Village, Snow Lodge is the inspiration. Welcome to the best bucking lodge in Whistler, uh, in Whistler, uh, British Columbia, an epic destination where best in snow mountains provide an unsurpassed playground that make any skier want to keep coming back. And for those of you who couldn't give a fox about hitting the slopes, there's plenty to do in the chill yet vibrant Whistler village. Anything is everything. And our favorite part is that the berry, get it bare, like a bear, um, very cool destination is super environmentally friendly as well. So come share your moosing ing stories of the day as your as you enjoy your stay at the National at the Nomad Lodge Whistler. So it's uh it's it's actually it's very cool. I have not been to Whistler. I've actually wanted to go. I lived in Colorado for a number of years. Um, and familiar with uh, ski lodges and uh, snow, but I have not been to Whistler. So this is what it looks like. I really do enjoy um, Nomad, Nomad Cosmetics, and I'm, I'm excited to try this. I've had this for a while, and I just haven't been able to use it. Designed on location while hitting the slopes in Whistler, British Columbia, proud supporter of Whistler Community Foundation. Uh, let's see, it is 0 0.05 ounces. 12 month shelf life, like I said, cruelty free and vegan. 
So those are the shades and I'm not going to do a whole swatching video today because like I said today was really about I'm trying out the La Prairie and the uh, some of the new things I picked up at um, the Sephora sale but I did want to use something on my eyes and I was like you know what we're going to this is going to be fun well, let's, let's use something a little bit different um, and I felt like in a blue kind of greenish mood today I don't exactly know why um, so I'm going to use the blues in here. Um, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna try out just kind of a cool fun look like not a not a tutorial or anything but just you know playing around with makeup so I'm gonna use the shade snow bunny which is this like um, almost periwinkle blue shade and it's a, just a very soft matte it reminds me a little bit of the new uh, blue velvet Quint by Dior. It has that kind of feel to it, this blue. Um, very smooth, very easy to blend, very gentle kind of shade. And, you know, uh, I talked about in that Dior Blue Velvet video um, that blue, a lot of us have this idea of blue, like it's, you know, that 80s blue, but I think you can make blue very sophisticated. Um, just depending on, on the blue that you're using. So anyway, so that's the blue. Um, that's Snow Bunny, which I think is just a really, really pretty shade. Um, and then I'm gonna take Snow Mad, and Snow Mad is, I'll show it to you in just a second. Snow, Snow Mad is a much deeper, I would say traditionally, uh, what would I call that, cobalt kind of blue? And there's embossing on here of like skis and moose. Yeah, I'd say cobalt. It's like a really bright, bright blue shade. Very bright. You can see how pigmented the shades are though. I mean like, you know, just because something is um, not a name you've heard before, like I know Nomad isn't, you know, as ubiquitous as Dior, but they have beautiful, beautiful pigments and uh, excellent formulas. And we're gonna take this very light, uh, it's called Powder Specialist. This like white shade here. Put that up. I'm going in very lightly with it because it is a very white sparkly shade, but it's beautiful. It's just, I don't want it to be too much. And then we're gonna go and blend the um, shades that I have on my eyes right now. Nothing on this brush. And I'll clean up under my eye later but I'm kind of blowing it out so that you know it keeps it from being too bright for what I'm trying to do and then we're going to take this shade called Whistler which is it's more like a mint green shade I'm going to put that down with my finger wait till you see this look at the shimmer in that like it's just it's so And then I'm gonna take black comb, which has, again, sparkle, but it's more like a bluish purple. And put it over. I'm gonna clean up the eye area, don't worry, but look at that. All right, let me clean up the eye area before we use the eyeliner. Okay, not that beautiful? It's such a, guys, this palette is so nice. It's so pretty. The shades in here are so vibrant and gorgeous and just incredibly impressive um, in their pigments. Uh, anyway, so, and then we're gonna take the deep. This is the calorie liner. I'll show you the shade in here. It's a gorgeous blue-green. And it is waterproof. Look at that. Such a pretty palette. I mean, would this be something that I would wear every day? No, but I just have to say, like, I'm so impressed by the shades in here. They are just so pretty. Um, and let's, for example, like take the, the white shade, the powder specialist. It's like a, it's like a opal. You can build it and like put it on top of other shades. You can do that with all of these shades. 
and make it even like more opalescent. I just, I'm really impressed with all, there's a gold in here called um, Berry Cool. Look at that. That's very cool. And this shade, um, which one is this one? This one is a Bucking Great, which I love. It's this deep forest green shade. I cannot wait to wear that in the fall. I, I know it sounds weird, but I feel like forest green is a fall shade. I, I know you can wear it any time of year. I know, but still can't help it. Um, Ski Bum, which I didn't even use today. <laughs> They're just so pretty. So pretty. And... They're so, I mean, I got a lot of stuff on my hand already, but so pigmented. I mean, so pretty. <laughs> I love this palette. I just think it's really pretty. Um, I really like the color story. I think the blues and the greens are beautiful. So I'm a big sucker for blue and greens. Uh, okay, so let me put on some mascara. I'm gonna use the calorie today. Um, and then I'll show you the La Bouche Rouge lips. Okay, back with mascara. And again, I know this is not like an everyday kind of look for a lot of folks, but I just think it's so pretty. Um, it's, I just, I mean, I love it. I think it's just gorgeous. Um, would I wear it to the office? No, uh, but you know, not every look has to be an office look. I just think it's so like summery and it looks like a, like, like a blue lagoon. I just think it's so pretty on the eye. Um, and I also think the blue would look so nice like next to a brown eye because it would be a contrast. My, you know, my eyes are blue. Um, so it's not as um, striking, but I just think the colors are amazing. The formula is gorgeous. Um, if you are interested in a, a little bit more colorful blue, greens, golds, I really would suggest this is this is a great palette. The formulas are excellent. The shimmers are beautiful. The mattes are really good. Um, it's really easy to blend. It's a good price point. It's just, it's a really beautiful palette. Um, I really like Nomad Cosmetics. I think they do an excellent job and they're one of my, I have a couple of independent brands that I really like and Nomad is one of them. So I Really, really. I'm, I just wanted to show it to you guys. I wanted to wait for a time that I was doing like a video on foundation or something that I could use it as like an accent, which is what I'm doing today. But I just, I think it's so pretty. Uh, okay, so um, let me show you the La Bouche Rouge lipsticks that I that I picked up. If you're not familiar with La Bouche Rouge, La Bouche Rouge is also um, sort of a niche uh, luxury brand. And um, they have different types of makeup. They have bronzers and eyeshadow bricks or quads um, and uh, highlighters. I think they have liners too. Anyway, I generally, I, I think their other products are okay. They have a mascara too, I think. But what I really love about Love Brochures are their lipsticks. And their lipsticks come in refillable cases. These are leather cases. You get them in all different colors and you can engrave them um, with initials. They are remnant leather cases. So like they're used, they're using leather remnants from other products um, to make the cases. They also have a vegan case as well. And so the lipsticks come in the refillable lipstick tube and then you can put them into whichever case you want. I have lots of cases. Um, I have uh, light blue and black and white and red and green and like literally every shade you can think of. They come out with custom colors. Right now they have a gold case available. If I can remember to link a picture, I will. I think it's for Mother's Day. I'm not absolutely sure. Um, so there's, anyway, there's, so there's, there's limited edition colors from time to time. This is the white case and in the white case, I have rosewood. So let me show you what the white case looks like and then I'll show you the color rosewood. So this is the white leather case. Um, and rosewood is pretty much what you think. <laughs> it's a light pinky beige color, really pretty. And then this I think was the custom, I think this was a, a um, limited edition color can't remember now, but it's like this brown red. It's almost like a mahogany shade. Pretty sure that was a limited edition. And the shade in here is the Nude Claire Rose. And I think this is, I think this is the um, lip balm. 
but I can't really remember. I'm pretty sure it is, but that's Leclerc Nude Rose. The formula on these lipstick, they're, they're satin lipsticks, unless it says matte. Um, they're long lasting, they're really comfortable on the lips, they look beautiful, but these are all, these are clean beauty lipsticks, so they, they do tend to go bad a little faster than a normal lipstick. Um, this is the light baby blue case, and the one that I have in here is Kotos, K-O-T-O, -O. and I think, I think this is the one that came with this case, but I can't remember now. <laughs> If I can figure it out, I'll put it in the, the comments below. Um, maybe this is the lip balm. I can't remember. I've had these for a while, and I've just never shown them to all of you. Um, so I'll make sure I, I put something in the description box or put it down below when I go back to edit. But they were shades that I did not have, already have in my collection. I have numerous shades. Um, nude red and nude brown are some of my favorites. Uh, but I was just like, you know what? Um, I'll pick up some more because there was... I think, I think it was this one that was the limited edition at the time, and I think it might have been Koto that it came with, but I, again, I'm not absolutely sure. Uh, and I was like, oh, I like all those shades. They're pretty shades. This one is almost like a, um, a sheer red. Uh, this is like a pinky brown, and this one is very much a peach, which is what I'm going to use today. Uh, but the formulas are excellent in these, and I, I just really like them. I think these are excellent lipsticks, um, very comfortable to wear, and I, I love the refillable cases. I just think, one, they're cool. I love the different shades you can pick up in the different leather, and I like the fact that you get to keep the case, and you can, once you use lipstick, you can just put another lipstick in it. And that is Rosewood. Like I said, it's a pale peachy pink. I think if you want to um, deepen it up a little bit, you could certainly use a liner and get, you know, whatever shade you wanted to use, like a, 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 a brown shade, a uh, pinkier shade, and it would take on whatever that was. But for the purposes of today, because the eye look was so bright, I wanted to pick something um, pretty neutral uh, to go with it. So to quickly go over what we put on today, La Bouche Rouge is a longtime favorite of mine. These are my new shades and my new cases. I believe there's the gold shade that's available now. I'll make sure I remind myself to put a picture up and talk about uh, what that one is. The Milk Bronzer, I really like it. I think it just imparts this natural glow to the skin. It's, it's almost like a tanner, like a, you know, like a natural bronzing tanner. Um, and the shape shift color I think was beautiful. Um, thanks to Aileen for, for telling me to get this because this is something I'm going to take with me on my trip. I just think it looks natural and healthy and just, just pretty. I think it just looks pretty. And I don't even need a highlighter because I feel like it gives that glow. So very excited about that. The Say, um, the Say blush. It still feels slightly tacky, guys, so I'm not sure I like this one as much. The shade is beautiful. I think it's a really pretty shade, but and this is rosy, um, but it still feels kind of wet, and so what I'd worry about is that, and my skin is dry. I don't know if it was it's going to dry down, um, and if it doesn't, then it's going to come off. You know what I mean? Like if you have a, a cream product that doesn't sort of sink into the skin, uh, it's going to come off on your clothes or whatever. So I don't love that. It looks really pretty, but I think I prefer the, um, the Rare Beauty or the Merit or the, um, Chanel or the Laura Mercier that all, you know, dry down faster than this. And again, I think it's pretty, but it's, it seems to stay kind of tacky because it still feels a little tacky. Um, the Calorie Liner in the Deep is a beautiful shade if you like blue, blue-green. It's really nice and it's, like I said, waterproof, which is great. Um, the Nomad Cosmetics, like I said, this, this, uh, palette came out quite some time ago, which is why it's the Whistler Snow Lodge and now we're in spring slash summer, but it's a really beautiful palette if it's available. The shades in here are just stunning and even though this is technically more of like a winter kind of palette, uh, those shades, you definitely pull that in the summer. You can wear any shades you want anytime, but I'm just saying, I mean, these are beautiful. The foundation. I love the way this foundation looks. I don't know what's going to happen later. 
I don't know if my skin's gonna turn bright red. Um, I need to use it for a couple days and see what happens because I just opened it. But I think it looks stunning. I like both sides, but I think this side looks better than this side. But I love it. I love the foundation. And I hope that my skin doesn't react to it because if it does, that would be very disappointing. Um, there's still a scent though, and it's a slight scent that I still smell. So there's some fragrance in here, and I'm not sure what it is, but there's a fragrance. Uh, I can smell it. Um, it doesn't bother me though, and the skin looks so phenomenally good. <laughs> that I'm kind of like, it's fine. Uh, but, I, you know, I don't know why they have to put fragrance in, in makeup. But anyway, uh, but yeah, I do. I really, really love it. just think it looks stunning. Stunning on. And it's the right shade, which is always nice. The concealer seemed to work pretty well, too. Uh, it's not, you know, getting in lines. It doesn't look, like, cakey or weird or anything. Um, which is kind of nice if, if this one turns out to work for me and my face doesn't go red because then you could travel with it. You have the concealer and the foundation in one. It's kind of a nice touch. So I do like that. Um, yeah. So far, this is, you know, I'd say the only fail is the, is the say blush. It's not really a fail. I just, it still feels tacky, which is a little odd because uh, it's been a while and uh, it hasn't really dried down. So, uh, but I'll give you an update on the foundation and uh, how my skin reacts to it. But if it if my skin does not react poorly, this is a really nice foundation. Very expensive, but very nice. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you in another video really soon.